it's your boy T Bear and reaction today is from Friday. As you see, um this week is classic week. Although I was almost I'm gonna be honest, I almost ready to pull pull up, see if I should do this week's kill count. I mean th th this kill count here that I plan or the new kill count that came up this week. For those you don't know, um the new new the new kill count on Dead Me is one of all top three classes. I was dating on doing that, but I like let me keep on the schedule as well too. But anyway, we're going to continue the classic. This is classic week as well too, and we're we'll continuing in order of the years of release. Um, like I said, Frank Style and this one was released at the same time, but Frank Style was the first. What well, it was the earlier kill count on Demi. This one, this one came out literally last year though. So this is the kill count of the OG original Dracula with All Star Pro, which influenced the movie that is for is um that's. Is today's new kill count on Demi website channel? Go check it out, as well as many other other uh, kill films as well too that involves vampire as well, even a black one as well too. As we will get into some black exploitation, more black exploitation uh, videos coming um today as well too to represent to represent black history. But anyway, without further ado, we're gonna check out Dracula kill Dracula kill count on night thirty one, and also. This week's uh, Films Friday, since I didn't do it last week, because, yes, because I, 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 I was taping my Film Friday stuff Thursday, because I'm going to be busy this whole weekend. Is uh, But anyway, this uh, week's Films Friday is dedicated to the memory of Carl Weathers. We sadly lost literally a week ago as well, too. We'll do the, we won't, I will do something in honor as well, too. But anyway, without further ado, let's check out Dracula. Let's get it. Hold on, quick second. Welcome to the Kill Count, where we tally up the victims in all our favorite horror movies. I'll stop now. I'm James A. Janice, and today we're looking at Dracula, the classic from 1931. Count Wrong Dracula stuff. is one of the best known figures in popular culture. Most people can't name a time when they never even heard the name before. He's been featured in over 200 films, including non-English language films, animated films, and, um, adult films. He's been parodied in comedies and cartoons, plastered all over merchandise, and is the final boss of a prominent video game series. Whether he's depicted as a rat man or an absolute sex pop, Count Dracula is freaking everywhere. The Count was created by Bram Stoker in his 1897 novel Dracula. The character was inspired by vampires of folklore and named after, but not based on, the 15th century Transylvanian prince Vlad the Impaler. Earlier mm. screen adaptations include a now-lost Hungarian film from 1921, and of course, F.W. Murnau's Nosferatu, a silent German film released in 1922. And once they go on, I, you heard from the, uh, the uh, Watch Moses, they don't do a re remake of that. Universal's Dracula is the first sound film based on Stoker's novel, or more accurately, based on the Broadway play based on Stoker's novel. Aside from a couple of earlier silent flicks that generally aren't counted, Dracula is also the first film among the Universal Monster movies, which was probably the earliest cinematic universe. Oh. That means Dracula is basically Universal Horror's Iron Man. As oh, well, that case, I would have did that first, but... But... Mm. Classic as it is, especially with Bela Lugosi's iconic performance, Dracula does feel a bit more shoddy than the later Universal films, including Frankenstein, which would be released later the same year. Director Todd Browning, a prolific silent filmmaker, struggled to adapt his style to movies with sound. Mm. Some sequences leave Dracula feeling extra old-fashioned, which is compounded by its complete lack of any special effects. Mm. It also has a lackluster ending, in my opinion. But none of that stopped it from being a huge success upon release nor can it negate its massive, persistent influence. Since this movie started a movement, only makes sense for today's sponsor to also be Movement. Movement is an accessories brand that's best known for their watches, like this one. It's called Raptor Honey Smoke. Boy, does that sound delicious. Nowadays, Movement has grown to have way more than just timekeepers. For instance, do you want to rock Sorry. some wrist bling without a constant yep. reminder of time's no, never-ending march towards oblivion? Then check out Movement's new jewelry. Chelsea's loving her new silver bracelet, which is both stylish and excellent vamp mm, repellent. Of course. Wait a minute, silver's not for vampires. That's for the other guy, huh? Oh, thank God, she's got it covered and looking damn good while she does it too. 
<laughs> Movement also offers blue light filtering glasses and sunglasses, mm. perfect for protecting your eyes from hyper-specific beams of light. There you go, Drac. Now you can doom scroll from your coffin all night. <laughs> if you want to make the movement move for yourself, just use the link in our description. I recommend doing it soon. Between now and July 25th, Movement is having a 25% off sale site-wide. But that's only if you use our link. That's right, kids. We're providing the hookup. Let's take a look at what is now the oldest movie on the kill count and get to the mm. kills. The movie begins with a title card. Yo, is that the bat signal back there? Oh, no the music playing. wow. That dude, I wanted to have what Spire did. Hmm. No, we get the swan theme instead from Tchaikovsky's famous ballet, Swan Lake. The Swan theme is like a would-be universal horror theme song, having scored the credits for Dracula, Murders in the Rue Morgue, and The Mummy, as well as the earlier silent Phantom of the Opera. Stop spooking people, Swan! A packed carriage hauls ass through the map painting mountains, its occupants jump and eager to reach their destination before sundown. Because once night falls, they've got to deal with... Nah, man, you're talking about the wrong movie. That ratty motherfucker can go flip light switches for all I care. That lady bouncing around, by the way, who also had the movie's first line of dialogue, is Carla Lemley, cousin to Universal Horror's patron saint, Carl Lemley Jr. Jr.'s dad, Carl Sr., was of course a co-founder and, uh, president of Universal Pictures. Carla Lemley president. was the last surviving cast member of this movie when she mm. died in 2014 at the wow. age of 104. Wow. Badass. They gallop into Epcot's Germany Pavilion, and everyone disembarks to shop at Der Teddy Bear. A guy named Renfield wants to continue on to Borgo Pass. He's here on some midnight business! Uh. And with whom? Count Dracula. Count Dracula? Count Dracula? Yes. Renfield's hoping to sell Dracula his monorail, but the locals say the Count and his wives are vampires. They take the form of wolves and bats. Wait, what? Dracula can turn into a wolf too? I thought that was only the other guy. They leave their coffins at night and they feed on the blood. Leaving. Thanks for the vampire cliff notes, Stashman Crothers. Surely helpful to 1931 <laughs> audiences who weren't as familiar with vampires and their blood drinking proclivities, or their weakness to bling, like the cross this woman gives to Renfield in a freeze frame. That freeze frame is part of the movie. I, I didn't edit this in. This is how it is. So don't get cross with me. With the sun going down, <laughs> it's time to hit the town. That's the motto of Count Dracula and all his lady wives who climb out of their coffins mm. to join the bees and the uh, possums? Oh, possums? I always forget the difference. Dracula himself makes one of the most iconic entrances in horror history. Bella Lugosi straight eye fucking that camera. No wonder the dude's got three wives. The dramatic dolly in on the Drac Man comes courtesy of Carl Freund, a German expressionist cinematographer. Freund was a fan of moving cameras and a master of his craft. Dude shot Fritz Lang's Metropolis. Though Todd Browning is Dracula's credited director, Freund is sometimes said, I wanted an S.I. on Spike Lee guy in Splues. <laughs> to have done a lot of the actual directing. In any case, Freund impressed Universal enough to direct The Mummy the following year. As for Browning, his career would sadly stall out after 1932 when he released the now cult classic Freaks. Renfield's carriage bails on him before he can leave a four-star review, but another is waiting for him, complete with a drivula, or a driver, just a regular driver, with a toothache and very white eyes. Dude, best stay away from Bunker Hill. Well, I wonder how they made the eyes like that back in the day. Hopefully this Dragula doesn't drive like a bat out of hell. Oh no! This bat on a string speeds them towards Castle Dracula. Huh, wonder where they got horses that small. When he arrives, right. Renfield can't find the driver, or anyone else. Nothing but a swarm of armadillos. Damn, Dracula, what kind of food you've been leaving out? Also, bet you didn't expect this. Um, I can't look at our doing anymore after watching that episode of uh, Wu-Tang, uh, America Saga, like the first season. <laughs> ODB said, rather like a, that shit look like a rat with a shell in it. He said, one of my sisters Split and fuck one of the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> the mess with fuck one of the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> Oh, man. This movie to be full of fake bats and real armadillos. Dracula descends the stairs and makes his introduction. I am Dracula. Yeah, no shit you are, dude. Who else responds to a wolf howl like this? Listen to them. Children of the night. What music they make. 
Is he about to start rapping about a zing? Bela Lugosi was a Hungarian expat who left his country to escape political unrest. Mm. He had to learn early rules phonetically, since he wow. couldn't speak English at first, but eventually wound up on Broadway in 1927 when he started playing Dracula. Despite the experience, oh, he, he still had to lobby Universal and take a pay cut to earn the role on the big screen. Mm. Earlier choices for a director included the Man of a Thousand mm. Faces, Lon yeah. Chaney, Caligari cabinet member Conrad Veet, and John Carradine, who'd get his turn in the cape in the 40s in House of Frankenstein mm. and House of Dracula. Many amazing actors have played Dracula, yeah. but Lugosi is still the most associated with the role. Bela Lugosi showed the world for all time how a vampire was supposed to look, how right. a vampire was supposed to yes. act, and right. how a vampire was supposed to talk. Not right. only that, he also showed how a vampire should steal your girl. Well, my father's performance in Dracula uh, brought him to the attention of, uh, in particular, the female portion of the audience. They loved his performance, um, and they must have found uh, something of uh, sexual overtones in it. Yeah, dude, your dad was hot. He's a fancy looking guy, a straight up glampire, even if he can't afford his castle's cleaning fees. Mm. Dracula's castle was a big set with good feng shui and Universal got double feng the use shui. out of it. In an early effort to reach non-English speaking audiences, Universal produced a Spanish language version of Dracula wow. simultaneously. So the cast for the English version would come in the morning at oh, wow. shooting at eight o'clock mm -hmm. and the Spanish cast will come in the evening. Mm. We shot all night long wow. till next morning. Wow. Because we use exactly the same sets. Directed That's by George Melford through an interpreter, since he didn't speak the language, the Spanish crew would look at the English language footage and use it to one-up their counterpart production. Mm. That's why it's sometimes considered the technically superior film. It also had better optical effects and was quite a bit sexier. Mm. Just check out the décolletage on its ah, Mina, mean. played by Lupita Tovar. Hey. <laughs> Drac offers Renfield decaffeinated coffee and a Bloodweiser while he looks over the deed to his new home, Carfax Abbey, in England. Renfield into real estate and is making the transaction. If only he could stop pricking his finger. <laughs> oh man, why are you squeezing the blood uh -oh. out like that? The red stuff makes Dracky light up like Audrey too, but Renfield's cross keeps him away. Ha, <laughs> two for flinching, bruh. After Dracula bids a good night, Renfield opens the door to let the cool night fog in. Shouldn't have done that, dude. This is bat country. Wait, did the bat bite him or just kind of flutter around his head? I, I can't tell, but Renfield faints either way. Calm down though, batty biddies. This ain't your midnight snack. The head bat and charge pull rank and claims the realtor for himself. He shoes his wives away and completely out of the movie apparently, since we never see them again. Okay, Jerry, you can lay off the fog machine. The next <laughs> night, sets out for England across somebody's bathtub. The shots of the ship's crew are actually taken from the Stormbreaker, an earlier Universal silent film. Below deck, Renfield's already completely jokerfied and wakes up his new master to ask if they're still going to GameStop when they land. You will keep your promise when we get to London, won't you, master? Annoyed, wow. Dracula blows him off to watch the crew's Benny Hill routine. Drac doesn't get British comedy, though. His taste in humor is more irony. So he slaughters every last deckhand like a T-Rex headed for San Diego. An exact body count is tricky, thanks to these cutaways and the constant buckets of theme park water, but the most crewmen included in a single shot is 11. So that's what we're saying the count gave us for the count. This includes the captain, whose corpse is found tied to the mm. wheel when the ship lands in beautiful, sunny London. The headlines scream bloody mail there! Pitch at least two great metal band names and blame poor mm. Renfield for the kills. Oh, come on. You can blame this guy for let me murder? See, let me see <laughs> metal, he said metal band Let me see. The count. This includes the captain, whose corpse is found tied mm. to the wheel when the ship lands in beautiful, sunny London. The headlines scream... Crew, of course, found on derelict vessels. Hmm. Buddy, mail there! Pitch at least two great metal band names and blame poor Red wow, for the kills. Okay. Oh, come on. You're gonna blame this guy for murder? <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, never mind, that's fair. Dracula lets Renfield rot in the madhouse as he puts on the Ritz and roams the streets. The first <laughs> one he finds sells, uh... Drop your butt no, sir. Flowers for your butthole? What? Drop your butt no, sir. Okay, lady. My name is Draculio. I need pity <laughs> for my buttonhole. Dracula stares at a... <laughs> you know, uh, you know, I'm a big, 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 big boy here fans. That was hilarious. Wow. Damn Rod James. in the madhouse as he puts on the Ritz and roams the streets. The first woman he finds sells, uh, Drop your butt no, sir. flowers for your butthole. What? Drop your butt no, sir. Okay, lady. My name is Draculio. I need peonies for my buttonhole. <laughs> Dracula stares at a car with its high beams on and then slow dances the buttonhole beauty behind a barrier. 
he'll never flower another buttonhole again. As the police furiously whistle at the corpse, the killer pairs his dinner with the show. Oh shit, dude, is this the prequel to Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter? Dr. Seward. <laughs> Yo, Seward, Lincoln might really be here after all. Dr. Seward here is Dracula's new neighbor at Carfax Abbey. Seward's daughter is Mina, her fiance is John Harker, and their friend is Lucy Weston, who connects with Dracula over a poem about death. To die, to be really dead, that must be glorious. Glorious. Mina's not as interesting, <laughs> and a himbo <laughs> and will come. a pissing contest with the Count. I should imagine it would need quite extensive repairs. <laughs> I shall do very little repairing. One of the funniest parts of Dracula is how often and severely John Harker gets his shit wrecked. Mm. Lucy even piles on when the girls gossip about the Count that night. Oh, I suppose he's all right. But give me someone a little more normal. Like John? Get his ass, Lucy. I like this little <laughs> scene between these characters. In some adaptations, Lucy and Mina's friendship is a bit more sapping, something that many people say is subtextual in Stoker's novel. It's not present in this movie, but Lucy is more sexually open, a common trait for the character that lends itself to all sorts of fun analyses. Roaming the streets of London in search of his new goth girlfriend, Dracula finds Lucy's window and enjoys a Victorian striptease. Once the hot shoulder action is over, he flaps his fake badass into her bedroom and checks her bad. neck for asymmetrical moles. None spotted, but there will be symmetrical bite marks soon enough. Dracula was made to be released in both sound and silent forms, mm. and eerily quiet sequences like this one show it's effective either way. Oh, if you wow. do prefer a soundtrack for your terror, though, most home video releases include an optional score composed Ooh. by Philip Glass in 1998. Nice. At an operating theater, we find out that Lucy has died from her midnight drag attack. Oh. The surgeons are baffled by her neck marks and lack of blood, so they call in Dr. Otto Octavius, or Professor Van Helsing. Gentlemen, Van Helsing. we are dealing with the undead. Van Helsing. What, like that ratty motherfucker? Yes, Nosferatu. Thought so. Dr. Seward is skeptical, but Van Helsing tells him to open his mind. The superstition of yesterday can become the scientific reality of today. Yeah, how about that, Neil deGrasse Tyson? At Seward's sanitarium, where life is beautiful all the time, Renfield's been trying to eat spiders and flies thanks to his newfound taste for blood. Dude's getting pretty golem up in this bitch. Van Helsing tries to disarm Renfield with a gentle German hand massage, but Rennie only wants the finest manicures. Keep your filthy hands to yourself. They hear a wolf howl as the sun goes down, meaning it's Dracula o'clock. Uh -oh. Right after the camera moves away long enough for Mr. Lugosi to get on set. Uh -huh. Mr. Lugosi, are you? Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> yep, it's Dracula O'Clock. Renfield's reaction to the howling gives Van Helsing some suspicions. He confirms it when Renfield shies away from the wolf's bane flower. Mm. This dude's a little vampire servant. You know too much to live, Van Helsing. Jesus, a scary little vampire servant. <laughs> Dracula Bartok's his way into Mina's room, where editing turns him back into a human. Damn, you're really giving her the bedroom eyes. Or maybe he's got allergies. Hard to tell. He moves in on Mina as the screen fades to black. The next morning, she thinks it was all a dream. A sexy dream. It came closer. And closer. I felt its breath on my face. Oh, this is good, brother. And then its lips. Ooh, it's getting hot in here. John tells her to forget her silly erotic dream with another man, and Van Helsing checks her for hickeys, which is when he finds a pair of bite marks. What could have caused them, Professor? Count Dracula. Wait, what? Oh, <laughs> the maid was just announcing his arrival. Oh. I love when a joke in a 90-year-old movie can still get a laugh out of me. Right. We finally get a collision between a couple of colossal characters. Van Helsing, a most distinguished scientist whose name we know, even in the wild of Transylvania. Ha, <laughs> your clapback is a little bow, dude? Come on, even Harker could have done better. I can imagine. Eh, you know, maybe not. Turns out Dracula's been sliding into Mina's DMs and telling her spooky Ooh. anecdotes. Dude all but kisses her goodnight right in front of her fiancé, so Harker prepares to whoop some Eastern European ass. <laughs> Van Helsing holds him back, though, because the Count's ass ain't got no reflection. It's a straight-up invisible ass, and I thought that was only the other guy. Hell of a discovery, Van Helsing. Gonna keep it close to your chest, or... Nope. <laughs> nope, gonna play that hand right now. <laughs> Get that shit out of here! With such a suspicious reaction, Drax's gonna have to cover by saying something normal. For one who Love has not house. lived even a single lifetime, you are a wise man, Ben 
Helsing. Maybe next time. He leaves and transforms into a wolf off screen, because, yeah, shape shifting is one of many Nosferatu tools at his disposal. Van Helsing tells Seward and Harker that Dracula is a bona fide vampire. When Harker presses X to doubt, the professor says he's playing right into them bad hands, or winks. The strength of the vampire is that people will not believe in him. Tell you who does believe in vampires, Harker's fiance, because she's having a midnight meeting with the cat, oh, shit. getting all up under that cape. <laughs> Redfield shows up all of a sudden, giggling and staring with his uh -oh. creepy wide eyes. He tries to warn them that Mina's in danger until a bat appears and tells him to shut the fuck up. No, no, master. I wasn't going to say anything. I told him nothing. I'm loyal to you, master. Wow, Renny, you're just as self-incriminating as the Count. Let's see if your denial game's any better. Dracula? I never even heard the name before. You don't know him. Renfield's performance has a lot of different he shades did. to it, all played enthusiastically by Dwight Fry, who we saw as Fritz in Frankenstein. Mm. Fry appeared in a number of Universal oh, wow. films, but sadly died of a heart attack in 1943 oh. at the young age of 44. A maid rushes in and says she's found Mina unconscious on the lawn. Again? That girl's gotta lay off the fireball. The experts fireball. and John rush to check on her, leaving the maid alone with the giggling madman. <laughs> uh -oh. She passes out and Renfield crawls towards her, perhaps intending malice for this Alice. But no, there's no kill to count here. We see the maid alive later on, and besides, as the Spanish version shows, Renfield was just going in for a fly. He clarified earlier that although he wants blood, he's not a murderer. You will see that I get lives. Not human lives, but small ones. Mina regains consciousness and starts coming to her senses, too. No, John. You mustn't touch me. And you mustn't kiss me. Uh -oh. Ever again. Damn, Harker, get wrecked. As the others plot how to kill Count Dracula, Renfield shows up how so Dwight Fry can deliver a monologue. Rats. 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 Oh, is that one from Willard? Before they can call the Orkin Man, they get a visitor. Dracula is in the house. In the house! Everybody <laughs> in the back! In the house! The side player <laughs> so the big boys can confront each other. Dracula and Van Helsing put their cards on the table and face off as high society types do, mm -hmm. with spirited debate. The great performances keep the scene from succumbing to its staginess. Like Lugosi, Edward Van Sloan was conscripted from the Broadway company. We've also seen him in Frankenstein, mm -hmm. where he played Dr. Waldman. Oh. Van Sloan would put on the Coke bottle glasses again for this movie's sequel, Dracula's Daughter, an underappreciated gem in the universal canon. Dracula gives up on the marketplace of ideas and tries to use the force instead. Van Helsing almost surrenders to the goth side, but in the end, resists by sheer will. Drac then moves in for a conventional kill, only to get foiled by a pocket cross. Got this it. round goes to the German, but the Drac attack will be back. In the honeymoon he's scene, ready, like, Mina's walking around like she's finally found a purpose in- He was- yeah, he's only like, you thought, <laughs> like, you thought, thought you had me, didn't you? <laughs> You're so- like a changed girl. Yeah, dude, it's because she got that vampire blood in her. I mean, she's sitting there talking to a bat. John's kind of into it, though, because for once, his fiance seems into him. Your eyes. They look at me so strangely. That's called lust, John. I can imagine. Helen Chandler doesn't get as much credit as her co-stars, but she does a great job tracking Mina's character changes, from modern and unimpressed by the old-fashioned Dracula, to trance-like as she's falling under his spell, then finally to this lively invigoration right. as she's halfway down the road to Vampire Town. Mina moves in for a neck nibble, but Van Helsing Bluetooths her, and his cross helps break her out of her trance. She admits that she's become, you know, a bit of a fangbanger, and is not actually horny for John. They try to protect her that night by posting a nurse at her bedside, but Dracula seduces the nurse with a window-side sup. She lets him inside, and he abducts Mina from her bed. He leads his new vampire across the lawn to show her the Carfax, Abby, inside of which there's an astoundingly dangerous spiral staircase. Don't pull the super fun happy slide lever. Renfield's here to help, but Drac sees that Van Helsing and Harker followed him, so the Count thinks that his familiar has sold him out. For this apparent betrayal, Dracula gives Rennie a weird hug. Not sure if he's killed by that or these subs Going tumble down the stairs, but in any case, this little flycatcher is ready for dissection. Audiences in 1931 heard Renfield scream as he was attacked, but Universal silenced this scene for a 1938 re release because of the Hayes Code, which prevented profanity, suggestive nudity, and graphic or realistic violence. Mina is carried off as her fiance and the professor break into the castle. They follow Dracula into his vacation crypt and quickly find the vampire sleep pods. Van Helsing breaks the wooden lid into a stake while Harker runs off to find Mina. We see 
Van Helsing wind up for the killing blow, but he drives it into Dracula's heart off screen. The Prince of Darkness is brought to a permanent end with some Bela Lugosi mm. screams. Those screams were also dropped in the 1938 mm. version, but have since been gloriously reinstated. Oh. What music he makes. With Dracula dead, his curse is lifted from Mina, who uh, feels herself up in the corner. All right, guess it's one last moment to herself before she's forced to be with John the Vampire Hunter and his D. They exit the Abbey to Wedding Bells, and Van Helsing stays behind to do sequel stuff. The end. One of Dracula's many derivatives is, of course, the Count from Sesame Street. So let's yep. honor him and get to the Here numbers. Ah, 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 ah. Nice. 15 people died in Dracula, with only two of them women. The rest were all men. Huh, I think a vampire pie would be a bit more red. Compared to his pals that I've covered, Drac had 10 more deaths than Frankenstein and 90 fewer than the Invisible Man. Oh. Never forget that train crash. With a runtime of 75 minutes, we had a kill on average every five minutes. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to Renfield. Almost every kill happens off screen, but with Rennie, we get to watch him fall down the stairs like Father Karras. Dull machete for lamest mm. kill goes to Dracula himself. An icon shouldn't go out as a sound effect. Come on! And that's it. Dracula came out in 1931 and kicked off two decades of universal so-called monster rally films. Yep. I'll mash with more monsters soon, but until next time, I'm James A. Janice. This has been The Kill Count. On well, the next Kill Count. The 1970s were a Okay, so yeah, this is, you already did this already anyway. So, and this was inspiration. This was inspired, this, and this inspired just one of the inspirations of Dracula, which was Black Blood as well too. Cool film and part of the, um, the uh, Black Sportation days as well too. So anyway, we are that's that's so that's it for Dracula. So the next of the if I go to my playlist of the classic horror films we want to do next will next, come around next time will be the Invisible Man as he mentioned that as well too. So we'll be a Invisible Man, another one that a lot of folks was want me to react to since I reacted. I, did I react to the? Old, I think I reacted to the the newer version as well too. Yeah, wanted me to react to the older ones one too. So that will be next time come around for uh that and then we have the Wolfman and then. We will get into the uh, the the Universal Monster Speed Round before we get to the bonus threes. I I, I have in there as well too. Might be a bonus four depends on if any more classic ones come up. Other than that, if you like my reaction, like, share, subscribe my YouTube channel. And next week will be poll week. Um, I think it's yeah, it'll be uh alternative kill count poll week with with his like kill counts from web web series, video games. Uh, sh short films, what, uh, uh, etc. As well too. But other than that, it should, I'm gonna figure out how the the one do the poll system with that will be a play in just for a spot or who knows. But either way, it should be T. signing off. One love.